thank you all for joining today. Very happy to be here uh, with Laura and Frank. Today is about 3D printed uh, added value in lighting. Um, sustainability is key for us, key for Signify being carbon neutral as of last year. Uh, we aim to produce locally, we aim to um, design the products in the smartest way to make sure that we don't need any um, extra components. But also, very importantly, uh, we get to customize. So a big advantage of 3D printing is the variety of textures and colors. So the texture and color combinations can really give each luminaire a unique personality. This new design freedom is really liberating and exciting. Let's take a look at some of the textures that we have developed. The first textures I'm going to show you, these are inspired by nature. So nature inspires us in many ways. So both the um, natural materials themselves and the plants and the forms and, and um, textures you get in plants, but also indirectly through philosophies like uh, Japanese wabi-sabi and a movement like the biophilic design movement. So this slide is, is the left to right, the hassle that we used to experience. Uh, we, we traditionally speak of a product development time of seven to eight months. And this is just in preparation, risk management, discussions in and out from when do we make the investment to create the product, to invest in expensive tooling, and things like this. Uh, we work from we would work from renderings. We would work from samples that maybe came from abroad, and it was all difficult. And nowadays, these hubs are nearer to our customers. We can iterate. We can make prints. We can really present this also uh, within your teams, within our teams, and discuss. You know, what what is it that we're really trying to achieve? So a lot of the time when you hear people speak of 3D printing, they'll call it a toolless process. Uh, and what does that mean? Uh, basically, traditionally, when we speak of injection molding, there's a high cost to start up a project because you have to in invest in a large aluminum or steel mold in which we inject the material. Um, and we can alleviate this when we're 3D printing. So we work with a process called fused deposition modeling sometimes called FDM. And without getting too technical, I'd just like to show you exactly uh, what we can do with that, with that technology. Uh, but basically, we don't need to make these expensive tools. So as you see by the green line on this graph, from a quantity of one piece, we can really just start creating. And, and we have a very flat curve to expand this. Um, theoretically, as we have more hubs opening around the world, we can continue to grow our capacity as well. 